Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 12. Inside this video session guys, we are going to register our navigation menus. We are going to display to our theme as well as we are going to work over navigation elements. So if I back to editor, now these are the theme files what we have developed inside our previous lecture that is index.php, footer.php, header.php and functions.php as well as we have put our contents like specific contents inside each of these files. Now if I back to browser, now this is the theme where we are working and as we know that right now inside this theme these are the navigation items like home, about, services and contact these are static pages means static menu items so we want to register or let's say we want to make it dynamic from our WordPress admin panel so how can we do as we go inside previous lectures we had a bit concept of registering menus as well as all about display so if I back to our editor go inside this functions.php and as we know that while using our dynamic menu items first of all we need to register that so here let's say that function if I copy the simple bootstrap theme the name and let's say that nav underscore config and inside this and also this function we are going to bind with add action and inside this the action hook we have called after setup theme and this is our visual studio code IntelliSense. So this is the action hook and inside this we need to pass our callback function so copy and paste and inside this already we have idea about let's register nav menus and inside this we are going to pass array of parameters because let's say that our theme contains two like menu items all about let's say header and sidebar so let's say that here simple bootstrap theme and this is all about let's say primary menu underscore id and inside this let's say that simple bootstrap theme primary menu and inside this parenthesis if i write let's say top menu and also if we go here let's say simple bootstrap theme this is all about we are to develop our secondary menu id here is the key means our menu id and let's say that simple bootstrap theme this is all about our sidebar so these are the two navigation items we are going to register inside our WordPress setup. So after registering that, we will get, if we go inside here, now before registering, if we go inside this appearance, and as we know that currently our simple bootstrap theme activated, so that's why we are not getting any menus item. But now we have registered. So if I reload this page, after reload, we will see about this menus item now if I click on this link after clicking on that here we have two options available that is simple bootstrap theme primary menu so as we can see that inside this custom theme we have four menus like home about services and contact so we need to create all these pages first so if I go to WordPress here click on pages all pages first of all let's see about the available pages now if I go and remove this trash now we have deleted that page now click on add new let's say that we are going to add or create four pages inside this first of all it's all about our home page so simply if I go here and use a dummy content extensions of a Chrome, copy this dummy content, go inside this and pasting it here. If I write here, let's say that 
वेलकम टू होम पेज एंड आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इट एज बोल्ड सो क्लिक हियर एंड वी डोंट वॉन्ट दिस सो हियर वी हैव अ टाइटल और लाइक हेडो एज वेल एज सम डमी कंटेंट सो क्लिक ऑन पब्लिश बटन सो सक्सेसफुली वी हैव क्रिएटेड आवर फर्स्ट पेज क्लिक ऑन एड न्यू नाउ द नेक्स्ट पेज वी वॉन्ट समथिंग अबाउट सो गो हेयर लेट्स ए अबाउट सिंपली लेट्स ए वेलकम टू अबाउट अस पेज एंड दिस इज आवर हेदर सो आई एम टू मेक इट एज बोल्ड एंड ऑल्सो फॉर दिस पेज आई एम टू कॉपी द सम टमी कंटेंट्स I'm going to add one more paragraph tag here. So simply let's say adding a paragraph, pasting all the contents, click on publish button. So now here we have called a title, a header as well as some dummy content. Click on add new. The next page we want something let's say with the name of services. So let's say that services Welcome to service page, and we can add one more paragraph tag for our dummy content. And here it is. Click on publish button, and also we need to make this header as bold. Click on update. Click on add new, and the final page we have called the contact page. Now back to admin panel. We are going to add let's say contact. Here, let's say welcome to contact a speech. Make it as bold. Add a new paragraph tag. So click on that. Click on a new paragraph block. Copy the contents. Click on publish button, and we have now successfully published. Go to appearance, menus. Now this time we will see all the pages what we have created, and this time it is invalid because we have removed this page. So I am going to get rid of this page from these menu items as well as these custom links. Instead, what I will do these are the pages what we have created. So select all, click on Add to Menu. This is our menu name something. Primary menu, and inside here we need to rearrange. So simply drag and drop, so it will be home. Next we have called about. Then we have services and contact. We need to make it as a top navigation menu. So simply click on the first that is SPT Simple Bootstrap Theme Primary Menu. Now if I click on Save Menu button. Now successfully we have created our primary menu. Now next we need to display this menu to our custom theme. So what I will do back to editor, go inside header.php. So right now this is all about the dummy content. So what I will do, I'm going to make all comments. So simply press Control and forward slash. It is going to make automatic comment of these selected HTML. Now we are going to use some WordPress function. So here, wp underscore nav underscore menu, and inside this, we need to pass some parameters. So first of all, the parameter is all about theme location. So here, we need to pass our menu ID, which is we are going to display at that position. So we are going to display this primary menu. So copy that and pasting it here. So if we save these changes, back to our front-end layout, reload this page, and here, as we can see, that we are getting home about services and contact, but this is not in a proper format. If we click on Inspect, go inside this Elements Console section, and here, as we can see, that we are getting. A UL here. This is all about a UL element. Then we will have a ally, ally, and all allies. Submenu means menus are appearing inside this 
ul tag but remember inside this ul we have id called menu primary menu and here we have a class but according to the theme according to the theme we need to add this class called navbar hyphen nav ml hyphen auto this is the class what we need inside ul element so first of all we need to make the default container as false this is the container called menu primary menu container so we don't want this con container because already we have a div so after this div we want this ul tag so that's why we need to make it as this div as a false value we don't want this div anymore back to editor go here and let's say that in the second parameter something called container and pass it a false value after getting that we have disabled our container go here reload this page and if we inspect over this now as we can see that we have only a single div and inside this div we are getting all about our ul item now one div has been disabled now next we need to add our own custom class inside this ul back to editor so here inside this wp nav menu we need to add one more key somethings item wrap inside this we can pass our ul template so let's say that ul this is the template we are going to use inside this ul we have the class called navbar nav ML auto so copy and paste and here inside this ul we need to pass a placeholder and this is something like this because we are going to use the dynamic li items inside this ul now this time instead of this ul class what we have called menu simply menu we are going to add some more classes inside this by using this template so if we save these changes back to browser reload this page and inside this i think that we have some error back to editor again go to browser to check the error and here we have a ul tag so why not actually we are going to wrap all these things inside single code so get rid of this double code putting it here and these classes and to wrap inside this double quotes so if we save this change only we have changed all about the codes reload this page and this time as we can see that inside this ul our own custom class has been added this is navbar nav ml auto so successfully guys inside this video we have registered our menus created some pages as well as display menu items and we have customized about this you will tag in the next video we will add some classes over this li as well as inside this we have anchor links so we are going to customize all about li as well as anchor links so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day